Now, we have heard a lot of debate about this whole idea of energy independence and why this country has to be more energy independent and why we have to do a better job of creating real and true energy independence. And some say that energy independence includes a lot of, includes a lot of different forms. Hydro, ther uh, geothermal, hydro, wind, oil. Well, not oil, but oil is, you know, what the Republicans argue. Uh, and then we've also heard this talk about nuclear. Nuclear power is the key to all of our problems. I want to talk about this story, and then I want to tell you why nuclear power is not going to work. The Fukushima fallout may cause illnesses to American babies. Not American babies that live in Japan. American babies that live right here in America. A study from the Radiation and Public Health Project found that babies born in the Western United in Western United States, as well as other Pacific countries, shortly after the Fukushima nuclear disaster in January, uh, in January of 2011, in Japan in March 2011 may have maybe 28% likelier to develop cognitive hypothyroidism. This illness, if untreated, causes permanent could cause permanent handicap in both the body and the brain. If the treatment begins in the first month after birth, infants usually develop normally. So you hear that? Hear me. So there's this nuclear power plant across the ocean, the other side of the Pacific, that had a meltdown because of a tsunami slash earthquake in Japan. Now, for all of you who live over there, we prayed, we, I pray for them and I pray for their recovery. It happened, la happened last year, to almost two years ago, but they're still dealing with it and people are still suffering the consequences. But, you know, we all learned this in, in, in grade school about the whole love of evaporation, how stuff, water evaporates, goes into the clouds and the clouds rain and that rain evaporates like the water cycle, I think that's what it's called, right? So this is what happens. In Japan, the nuclear waste and the meltdown and the smoke and all that stuff got into the water, released this thing called 131 iodine, right? This Or 161 iodine. I'm going to get my producer to clarify which iodine it was. I can't remember right now. Um, but this iodine that went up into the sky and, you know, followed the wind path, right? It followed the wind path over and it began to rain and snow in the, the, the western part of the country, California, Oregon, Washington, Idaho. A 131 iodine is correct, right? And it rained down this 131 iodine. And guess what? Mommies, you know, drank the water. Mommies bred in the air. That air went to said fetus. Now that fetus has this 131 iodine in their system. This 131 iodine is responsible for creating cognitive, uh, creating congenital hypothyroidism, which is when your thyroid gets enlarged into thyroid, for folks who don't know. Is the is the the organ that sort of regulates gla uh, regulates it's a gland that regulates how hormones are released, what hormones you release, what hormones you don't release, right? And now these babies have this disease because of nuclear power. Why nuclear power isn't an answer? Now, don't get me wrong, it's bad in America, but can you just imagine how bad it is in Japan? And we're gonna talk about it in just a second, but. I want to talk to you about why we need real energy independence that's not harmful to our bodies and not harmful to our children, i.e. wind power, solar power, hypo, uh, you know, geothermal power. So that's renewable, that is good for our body, that is good for our bodies and good for our brains. Coal, not an answer, right? Oil, clearly not an answer. You know, the Keystone Pipeline and tar sands, definitely not an answer. Nuclear power, add that to the list, now not an answer. And if you didn't think it was bad, like I said, in Japan, the health effects associated with Fukushima are obviously much worse. The mortality rate of elderly people who were in retirement facilities near the plant has reportedly tripled. Mortality tripled. People dying three times more likely. America. Why we don't need nuclear power in this country. Why we need to search for energy alternatives that don't include things that are harmful to us. And our babies. Come on. Like Whitney said, the children are our future. Teach them well and help them lead the way. Don't poison them with nuclear iodine-131.